As I walk the perimeter edge, what I'm looking for is the placement of the water cutoff mastic under the Secure Edge 4000. So you can see the placement of the water cutoff is between the edge metal and the membrane, and it's applied at the rate of 10 feet per tube. At that rate, you'll get a revealing itself out onto the membrane. Uh, also, what we look for is that the roof is sloped away from this edge metal. So as we turn the corner, due to the slope of the roof, the uh, wood nailer is now higher than the height of the insulation. So our specs say once that height gets over a quarter inch, securement is required at that inside angle change. So what we're looking for at this inside angle change is the securement, and you can see they have that. They used a six inch rush strip, and it's fastened 12 inches on center with two inch plates and fasteners. Also, where a field seam makes an inside angle change, as in this case, a T-joint cover is required, and that T-joint cover would get lap sealed. So for a drip edge, uh, it has to be flashed with cured cover strip, and we're looking for the flange to be completely covered with the membrane. The drip edge has to be fastened six inches on center using ring shank nails. Uh, there also has to be at least a two inch lap beyond the nail heads, and we also need a uh, minimum of a two inch lap out onto the membrane. At the wall, what we're looking for is, uh, again, that there's securement at this inside angle change, which they uh, used the, the rush strip and two inch plates and fasteners, just like they did before. The membrane then goes up behind this existing counter flashing, and I can feel when I put my fingers up in here that there is a termination bar behind the counter flashing. Also, this counter flashing is fastened 12 inches on center. The fastener heads are uh, caulked.